We have uh, Vedanta joining us from Narnola. Vedanta, first and foremost, get us a health update of the two children who are said to be critical. And what is the age group of uh, the uh, children who are on that bus, 20 of whom have uh, been injured? The, the second question, Divya, is very important. Uh, they were all, uh, you know, in classes four to to five is what we're being told. But let me first show you the bus uh, here in, that was ferrying those uh, over 20 students to the GLPS uh, school here. Look at the condition of the bus. It's completely damaged. And what we're being told is that it rammed, uh, you know, it, it, it hit a tree from behind, which is why you can see the back of the bus is completely damaged. In fact, these are the, these are the six students who were sitting at the back uh, who died at the school spot is what we are being told by the local police here. Uh, so look at the condition of the bus, completely damaged and this is a private school bus, the way I remember uh, which was ferrying uh, these over 20 students and uh, from inside as well it's been completely damaged uh, the roof of the bus uh, entirely damaged as well and what we're being told by police sources here in Mahindragarh is that the driver of uh, the bus uh, was in a drunken condition and he jumped out of the, uh, he jumped out of uh, the bus, in fact he broke open uh, he broke open the window and jumped out after which the bus lost control uh, you know naturally and rammed a tree uh, which is how you can see uh, either the front of the bus is also damaged the, the, the entire uh, uh, you know the, the front glass is completely damaged as well uh, so the, the bus in completely dilapidated state because of uh, uh, because of the sheer force of the accident and if I can actually get inside the bus and if uh, Xavier can accompany me you can see that this is you know completely completely damaged from inside you know uh, the, these there were over 20 students sitting in this bus particularly the uh, children sitting at the back they were the ones who died at the spot and they were students from class 4 to class 10th is what we're being told by the local police so absolutely tragic there uh, young students you know all going to school on a festival and they lost their lives uh, in this tragic accident what the police are telling us is that uh, they have uh, their investigation has already begun in the case and uh, that they have also conducted a medical test on the driver uh, the report is yet to come uh, but what is absolutely tragic is that six students lost their lives and over 20 students are still uh, they, they were rushed to a nearby hospital here in the Kanina village itself and from there the, the parents were also called and uh, they took their uh, they took, took their children to various hot hospitals including in Rotak um, and uh, nearby cities this is a village where I come to you from uh, where this is the only uh, uh, private school uh, in the village where students were going and the bus in absolute dilapidated condition this has been brought now uh, to the local police Chalky here uh, in the Kanina village. It is now under, uh, uh, the police have seized the bus and it's also important to point out here that uh, the police have also seized all the vehicle documents. Uh, police tell us uh, that uh, uh, you know the fitness certificate was not renewed uh, when it should have been. So multiple questions being raised as Did to I? why uh, you know the school, the private school here was, uh, was open uh, on a festival day and why the fitness certificate of the bus was not renewed. Yeah, uh, 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 Vedant, when we talk about the fitness certificate of uh, uh, the bus, uh, apparently it had expired six years ago back in 2018. And, uh, you know, just to uh, confirm, you're trying to say that the driver jumped off that moving bus before it hit that tree and finally overturned, which resulted in the death of those six uh, students. Well, that's right. That's what the local police tell us. So essentially what had happened was that the bus uh, was over speeding as well. The driver was over speeding and he lost control uh, and he jumped out of, he broke open and jumped out of the bus and the bus naturally lost control and rammed a tree from behind, which is why the, you know, the, 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 the back portion of the bus is completely damaged, whether it's the roof of the bus, uh, you know, and this is where it rammed a tree from. So the back portion is where... Uh, the tree, uh, the, the, the bus hit the tree uh, and the driver, uh, you know, jumped out of, uh, uh, jumped out from uh, the window there. Of course, the students sitting in the front, they were all critically injured, 15 to 20 students. Many of them have sustained uh, injuries. They were rushed to a hospital, uh, to a nearby government hospital. Uh, most of them now are stable. A lot of them have been referred to better hospitals, uh, you know, uh, in, in nearby cities, including Rotak. Uh, some of them have been sent to Rivadi as well. Uh, but many questions certainly uh, remain and the police have launched an investigation into this absolutely tragic incident.